Hello! So I've been wanting to make this video for a while, not only for my own benefit, but also for the benefit of others and any artists who are wondering what kind of products they can sell as a digital artist. I myself have taken the turn to digital art a couple of months ago, so I'm still coming up with fresh ideas and I'm really excited to share this list of 50 different products that you can sell with digital art. I'm going to try to go through this really quick but I will explain a couple of details about some of the things and how you can sell those items. So I'm going to split this video into two parts. The first is going to be products that I have sold and then the second will be products that I want to sell. Let's start with products I have sold. Apparel. So apparel covers a huge variety of different options. For apparel, I always use Printify. Printify is amazing because you connect it to your shop and then when people order through your website or through your Etsy, it will just automatically transfer to Printify and they will take care of the printing and the shipping it out. So there is no upfront cost and it is very low risk. Just because I use Printify doesn't necessarily mean that it is the best platform to sell your clothing on. I know that some people like to use Printful. For shirts, it is sometimes hard to get good pictures of the shirts, especially when you're ordering them through another company and you don't actually have the physical product. A lot of times I like to order my own shirt and then I can take pictures with that shirt, make sure I like the quality, kind of like a sample, and then I will use a different company to show the other options that are available and the other colors that you can get. Another website that I've used in the past for this is Placeit, but Placeit is, it might be $15 a month, and they do have a free option, but the free pictures come with a watermark, which is really obnoxious. So I wouldn't use that unless you pay for it. Art prints. I actually sell art prints in my shop, but this is actually my only digital art print that I have right now in my shop. Um, before that, all I, all of the prints that I sold were from my physical paintings, like my uh, meditating BMO painting right here. So this is new to me, but I have figured out how to do it and I'm very excited about it. Next we have stickers. So we have uh, die cut stickers, but then we also have kiss cut stickers, so like sticker sheets. So for example, I have my little sticker sheets like this, and then I have my die cut stickers, which are like this. For stickers, I have two different websites that I recommend using if you're going to order stickers. I personally make my stickers at home because I have a fairly nice printer and a Cricut maker. But you can order uh, die cut stickers, square stickers, sticker sheets, uh, clear stickers, lots of different types of stickers on this website. The other sticker company that I really like is Vinyl Disorder. Their stickers are always on massive sales, so they are very cheap. I mean, look at this, $10 for 25 stickers, 50 stickers for $18, super good price. And yeah, they have tons and tons of options and I've ordered stickers from them before and they were really good. Then we have mugs. So for mugs, um, I personally don't sell mugs because I do think they're a little bit boring, mostly because if you sell your digital art on mugs, for the most part, it's either a continuous pattern all the way around a very basic white mug, or it's just an image. And I like having really cool, fancy mugs, like with little like designs on them. I don't like just the plain white mugs, but it's still a pretty cool product to put your pictures on. Next, we have mouse pads. So there are two options for the mouse pads. There's like the small circular ones, there's the square ones, and then there's the mouse uh, mats that are pretty big, like this one that I actually just recently designed. And they're also a great option that you can make on Printify. Next, we have custom family portraits. I personally love making custom family portraits. It's one of my favorite products that I have on my shop. Next, we have phone wallpapers. So digital downloads, again, phone wallpapers. You could just make your art into a phone wallpaper and sell it, and that's it. Custom pet portraits. This goes along with the family portraits, but pet portraits are a lot easier. You can probably have them a lot more affordable and Honestly, I think they're more popular because people love their pets. They're like their children. Now we will be moving on to products that I want to sell. So first on the list is a calendar. This can either be a wall calendar or one of those 
pretty small desk calendars. Custom plushie. So for plushies, I really want to use Makeship because uh, there's no upfront cost and they will help work you through making the product and then um, they have a campaign and they have a certain amount that needs to be sold before they will make the product and if you do not meet that goal then you are at no loss they just refund everyone who bought it and that's it because you need a large following for makeship um, there's also another option to use a manufacturer through alibaba and i did see somebody say that they used alibaba for their plushie and it was around six dollars per plushie and they had to order a total of 100 so it was around 600 dollars, which is a very large upfront cost but you will make a profit if you do sell all of the plushes next we have enamel pins or acrylic pins an option for enamel pins is gsjj i have heard good things about them on youtube and they have a lot of different options for custom enamel pins that you can order but again you do need to order in bulk so it is going to be a fairly large upfront cost next on the list we have tote bags tote bags are super super cute and i love the way that the designs look on the tote bags then we have hats hats are generally embroidered so that's something that you'll need to do vector art for and you can actually get hats off of printify so for hats on Printify, there's multiple options. There's ones where it does have a printed design on the front, and then there's others that are an embroidery design, which would need to be a vector image. Then we have button pins. So these are the pins that are like, they always make me think of elections, like the little pins that say I voted. I wouldn't say that these are called button pins. I'm not sure why I said that, but you can order buttons also from Sticker Mule and they are a pretty reasonable price. They have lots of different sizes that you can choose from and even ones that are a certain shape, which is super awesome. Uh, they're probably, I'm assuming that they're cheaper than the enamel pins because they're not quite as high quality. They are made from acrylic. They're pretty cute and they're also affordable. Next we have bookmarks. I'm not a huge reader. In fact, um, yeah, I just, I never read. I know, it's embarrassing. But bookmarks are amazing. They're super cute. I would really like to sell them. And, you know, you can print them at home pretty easily. Or you could also order them online. You can have them laminated. You can just have them paper. You can add, like, uh, those little tassels at the top or bottom of them. Like, you can really customize them. If you don't make your own bookmarks at home, this is also something that you could order from Vistaprint. And it's a pretty reasonable price. You can get $25 at, for only $17. And of course, the higher up you go, the cheaper each individual unit is. Then we have a tutorial in the form of a PDF. So by tutorial, I mean like a step-by-step -step process of how you do your digital art and you put it into a PDF format which you can actually very easily do through Canva. I use Canva for a lot of things. And then you just sell that PDF as a digital download. So it's very easy and it's like passive income. You put in all the work right at the beginning and then you can just relax. I wanted to show an example of what I mean by the tutorial PDFs. So a wonderful, wonderful example is Mimi Moo Illustration who sells these digital downloads of a drawing guide. And she has step-by-step -step drawing guides where she shows exactly how she draws these different things. And yeah, it's just a digital download, so it's super easy. Next, we have a brush pack. So depending on what you use for your digital art, I use Procreate. Um, but I know other illustrators use like Photoshop. Um, you can make a brush pack. I haven't done this, but I would really like to look into this in the future. And it's the same thing as the tutorial where you put initially put in a lot of work and then after you're done with that, it's just passive income. There are a lot of tutorials on YouTube for how to make your own brushes in Procreate. And I can imagine that there's others for Photoshop and also Adobe Illustrator. Next, we have custom logos. So logos, are like your Instagram logo, your TikTok logo, maybe a logo for a website. It's a very simple, usually like 500 by 500 pixel drawing. So you can sell it for like 20 bucks and it wouldn't take you very long to make. We have Instagram story covers. In case you don't know, because I did not know for the longest time, these things right here are Instagram story covers and they can be changed and custom made. My bad. So apparently they're called highlight, Instagram highlight covers, but they look like this. And a lot of people sell these types of things on Etsy. So that's a pretty, I think that's a pretty easy 
product to sell. Then we have app icons. You do have to make quite a bit, but they're so easy to make and procreate. It's just pretty time consuming. But just like other things, it's something that you just make at the beginning and then um, it's just passive income from there. And it's a digital download, so you don't have to ship out anything. There are so many different ones on Etsy and it is a little bit concerning because some of these sell like this one, 3 million app icons. And that is just insane. But sometimes I think people might want some cute little hand-drawn ones. Like I really like this cottage core one. Fabric designs. Next we have the glass cups with the glass straws. I don't know exactly what they're called, um, but you can actually get your artwork etched onto the glass and it looks really nice and it's durable and it will stay for a long time rather than just putting a sticker on it. Tapestries. So if you love making huge, big scenes of beautiful digital art, um, you should really look into making tapestries. And then with tapestries, there's also flags, which is like a smaller option. I would love to make a tapestry in the future. I just uh, don't make my artwork big enough to be like high quality on a tapestry. Coasters. Coasters are a super simple, you know, little circle artwork. That's also something that you can get through Printify. I'm sure you can order it from other places. I'll just have to do more research and figure that out. Next we have planner stickers. Planner stickers are kind of like the sticker sheets, but they're like, they're actually easier because usually you just have a repeating sticker, like multiple, and they're very tiny and they're usually just paper. So they're a lot more affordable and they're easier to make. Then we have washi tapes, an art course or a lesson. I've heard of a lot of artists doing this and it is also passive income where you put in the work at the beginning and then that's it. And you can get paid from this art course for years and years. If you think that you are skilled and you want to share those skills with other people, then you should definitely think about making an art course. It's definitely something I'd like to do in the future when I'm more experienced. I feel like I'm not exactly at that point yet, but maybe later. Um, I know you can make courses on Skillshare and you can also make courses for Udemy. Udemy offers lots of resources telling you how to become an instructor. They say down here that they can help you create your first course. Uh, they also have a support team available. Skillshare also has a bunch of resources showing you exactly how to create a class step by step. I'm assuming with both Udemy and Skillshare that after you make your lesson that it needs to be approved before they will actually put it on their website and allow you to get paid for it. Next we have ornaments. This is mostly around Christmas time. I don't even know what these are called. Notepads. You can actually like make little custom ones with your own little design around the edges. Super cute. On Vistaprint, you can make custom post-it notes and it does make it cheaper if you order a lot, but it isn't the most affordable, I don't think. Next, we have journals and planners. So I'm not entirely sure, I'll have to look into this, but I think maybe the planners, you could kind of decorate the inside pages, but mostly I was thinking of just the outside cover. So it's not a whole lot of work. You just need an outside design for just the basic outside of the planner or journal. Printify has lots of different journals that you can choose from. They have the hardcover and they also have the spiral notebooks. Vistaprint has custom made notebooks as well. You can change the cover so that it's either glossy or pearl and you can change the filler paper from lined or blank, but they are fairly expensive. They're a lot more expensive if you order less. If you order more, they're cheaper, but then you're getting up into a lot of money. Then we have keychains. Next we have magnets, greeting cards. So for greeting cards, this is something that you can print at home yourself and ship out physically. You can order it from an online place or you can even just sell your greeting card as a digital download where someone can print it out and then they can make it themselves at home. This is especially nice around the holidays when people are like, shoot, Christmas is tomorrow and I don't have a card for my family. I can't go to the store. So they just get online and they find a quick digital download and then they can print it from home. Next, we have the custom baby shower or wedding invites, just invites in general. You can just have a basic design for wedding baby, you know, shower announcements. And then you just customize it to that person's name and date and that's it. 
And that can be a digital download or it's something that you can physically print yourself and ship to them. Next, we have a wristlet or lanyard, a phone case, a poppet. So I didn't even know this was a thing, but for the pop sockets, you don't have to have just a generic circular pop socket. You can actually get these custom acrylic pop sockets and they are super cute. And this is once again on Alibaba. They have wonderful reviews and there's actually a picture here of someone's that they ordered and it looks really good. A blanket. The blanket's very similar to the tapestry where you just need a very large, high quality file. Temporary tattoos. I've never ordered temporary tattoos before, but this web website seems to have a really good selection. They have a ton of different options like glow in the dark or semi-permanent and also glitter. And then they have all the different sizes and you can enter the quantity you want and then you just upload your artwork here. And then it looks like they're going to email you a digital proof in an hour, which is super fast. So it looks like if you order 50, that it's about a dollar per tattoo. That is for the three by three inch tattoo. Next we have puzzles. Puzzles are a super awesome way to show off your artwork. On Vistaprint, you can print puzzles for a fairly decent price. Um, it doesn't save you any money if you order them in bulk, which is kind of sad. They have three different sizes to choose from. I would recommend using Printify though because there is no upfront cost and people can just buy them from your website and then Printify will take care of the rest. I really like these because they look like they come with their own box and they have lots of different sizes, ones for kids, ones for adults. And I think the most pieces they have is 1,000. Affirmation cards. I love affirmation cards. For an example of affirmation cards, it's a good idea to look at Etsy. They have so many good affirmation card decks on here. Next, we have a tarot card deck. If you're into that kind of stuff, you can absolutely look into doing this. I actually bought a tarot card deck for reference for myself in case I want to make a tarot card deck in the future, but it is a lot of work. Next, we have playing cards. So just the basic playing cards that you use for lots of different games, you can design your own pack for that. For all three different types of card decks, I found this website, boardgamesmaker.com, and they have a ton of different options for all of these different cards, and it is insane the amount of customization that you can put into these. For example, in the tarot card deck, if you scroll down here to the specifications, they have all of these different materials you can choose from. They have tons of different printing options where you can have like holographic cards or just like high gloss cards as well as a finish and different packaging options. So you can even order them with a box that it will come in. With this type of option, there is going to be the initial upfront cost, which will probably be quite a bit of money. Wrapping paper or tissue paper, super cute, very similar to the fabric design where it's like a repeating design. Dex tabs. I actually got this idea from Catnip who I will put in the link below because she's one of my favorite creators and I love her shop so much. Um, but yeah, they're these little like stickers that you can stick on your notebooks and um, they're tabs. So instead of having like those really boring, just like one colored uh, little things that stick up in your notebook, you can have like a cute little um, picture that kind of sticks up. Like I think one of hers is like a little frog. It's super cute, but yeah, it's a great idea. Next we have washi stands. Here are some of the examples of washi tape stands that are on Etsy. A lot of them are super, super cute. I specifically love this one of the cowboy cat with the little cactus. And as you can see in this video, the washi tapes just go on this cactus here and then you can ha have them on display and they just look so cute. Honestly, I need one because all of my washi tapes are just in this drawer and it would be really nice if I had a little stand. So maybe I'll design one. Next, we have a cup cozy. It always makes me think of beer, but specifically I would use it for like iced coffee uh, when you're on the go and you maybe stop at Starbucks and get some coffee. Window decals that you stick on the window and then it kind of shows um, it makes rainbows kind of go around your room. All right, we have finally made it to number 50. So number 50 is a coloring book. If you don't want to make like a full on coloring book, I've done this in the past where I just sell a digital download of one 
single sheet that someone can print at home and it's super easy and yeah that is my 50 ideas for products to sell if you're a digital artist if you have any other ideas please comment below um but yeah so i hope that this was helpful for you and i'm really excited to get started on some of these products and i will definitely keep you informed if i get any of them up in my shop